Good afternoon, SHS, and welcome back. I'm Ella Troop. My name is Blake Cater. And I'm Marina Quintanilla. Will everybody please rise for a moment of silence? And now Blake will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now, as always, we will start announcements off with your favorite segment, Be Weather. This week's temperatures should range from the low 90s and wane to the high 80s as the week progresses. Humidity creeps back in, giving way to stray showers and scattered storms. We will keep you updated as to any new frontal systems that may arrive in the coastal bend. And our Sinton Lady Pirate volleyball team plays in Ingleside tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. They'll also be playing Rockport at Rockport on Friday at 4.30 p.m. And our Sinton football team travels to Rockport to play the other Pirates, and that game will start at 7.30, so the games work perfectly. You'll have the opportunity to go watch the volleyball team, go eat, and then go watch our football team. And Cross Country does not have a meet this week, but they will be waiting until they start district, which we believe is October 14th in Ingleside, and also congratulate them for their Friday meet, which I heard they did excellent in. So good job, Cross Country, and good luck on y'all's Milethon this week. And then here's your reminder to get to class on time. Don't get tardies or detention because or ISS either because that is not fun. Just be on time. And then there is no parking for students in the parking lot where the library and the band hall is. Those are restricted. Do not go. You can get a parking pass from the little building. <laughs> the, the little toll booth. Yeah, the building. Or, or park in the neighborhoods. Just not, <laughs> not by the Don't library. Don't park by the library. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Also, for anybody that signed up for the AVID trip, your permission slips should have already been turned in. But just a reminder, you'll be going on the trip to Coastal Bend College on October 6th. And breakfast and lunch will be provided for this trip. For those of you who have signed up to take the TSI test, Miss Ivy will email you the date and time that you will be testing. It is important that you check your emails every day, not just for these messages from Miss Ivy, but you can get a lot of important things in your email. For those of you that do not know how to sign up to TSI test, you can email Miss Ivy directly and she will add you to the list. We also have TSI tutoring available, so if you're interested, please see Miss Garza or Coach Allen. Also, here's your reminder that Art Club hosts a 7.30 a.m. meeting tomorrow in Miss Jagger's room. If you don't know, Art Club is going to be for anybody looking to compete in an art competition. Student Council will hold a meeting Wednesday at 7.30 a.m. and 3.50 p.m. Officers, please try to join, and if you're not going to be there, please email Miss Garcia in advance. Student Council meetings are also open to any SHS student. And then Friday mornings, we have FCA every week, unless they're canceled, but you will be notified for that. <laughs> but we would love to see you in Coach Lodig's room in room 11, Friday morning at 7.30 a.m. And just your daily reminder that COVID-19 is still around. So if you don't feel well while you're at home, don't come to school. And if you don't feel well while you're at school, you can visit Nurse Elise who can administer a COVID-19 test. But it is important to note that she only tests symptomatic students and students that their parents have completed. The online consent form found on sentinisd.net. Remember to conduct your daily self-health checks at home to keep our SHS family healthy. And as always, we will end things off with the thought of the day. That's not a thing. Okay. We're ending off with the thought of the day. Well, actually, really quick, um, we're going to do a little bit of trivia. I have one today. Oh, do you? I do. Uh, Awesome. Okay. okay, go. Name one of the two states in the United States that have the most counties. Texas. Texas. I can't confirm or deny yet. Do y'all have any? Okay, that was enough time. Do y'all have any ideas of which one it is? Florida. Texas and 
No, doesn't Florida have provinces? No, it's not provinces. Uh, Louisiana oh. has parishes. Parishes. The okay, answer well, is Blake. Texas and California. Makes sense. Yeah. So now we will end things off with the thought of the day. Thank you for that trivia, Blake. When you see some something beautiful in someone, tell them. It may take seconds to say, but for them, it would last a lifetime. Arena, do that, you want to elaborate on that? I would love to. <laughs> um, what I see in that is just, I guess, to anything, any compliment can go a long way. We really never know what a person is going through, so any act of kindness or anything like that will lead them to a better day. Or they'll rem- or week. Rem- yeah, they'll, they'll remember it. It's that just, may be all they need. To get through the day. It can really affect someone. So go give someone a smile. Be kind to everybody. As always, we thank you all so much for watching. And go Pirates. Go Go Pirates. Pirates.